everyone. So today I thought I will do something a little bit fun, something easy. So um, I looked at my all the illustrations from the MD Cotton Mold book. And I think I have, I may have a illustration or tutorial uh, for this illustration. So if I do, I'll try to link it up here for you. But today, essentially, I kind of feel inspired by these wildflower stamp set. These are still available, by the way, in my shop. And the FOTD and the other one, which I'm trying to find to show you. Can't find it here. Um, it's the floral set. Uh, they have been both sold out, but there's still some available of the wildflowers. And also I will be using the um, acrylic blocks. They're also available, just a few of them, I think, by now. So just to keep you updated on that. So for those of you who have purchased this set, thank you so much. And I thought I might show you something more kind of... Um, new because these have been I think from the year before last year so it was probably quite a while or it could have been last year but I don't remember honestly um so let's try and create something so here I have uh, different options um here's like a girl sitting in sort of these kind of flower meadow um and then this one has those flowers on the top of her head. Today, however, I thought I will create a um, face illustration and then create like a flower dress. Um, so, basically, like I said, we'll use the FOTD stamp set for that and I will use the um, wildflower clear stem set so this is pansy lavender wax flower and buttercup um i've got my here which I, I have been using as you can see and i will take some of them out of the packaging so that they're easier to use when i have decided which flower i want i think i'll probably use two flowers but I'll give myself a variety. So the buttercup wax flower and lavender. I'll keep them to the side here. And let's start with the face first. So nice and easy. I love doing these when I have a bit of time and want to, you know, stay creative, but don't know exactly what I want to create. So I think I will go ahead, stamp out the face like so. I'm using uh, Distress Ink in Tattered Rose and hair wise, I'll probably go for this one. So the small block will hold everything except for the face base, it will hold every single one of those stamps. even the bun if you put it this way. So I think I'm gonna give her this Mickey Mouse hair, ears type of thing. There we go. Don't, don't worry if you haven't connected the lines fully because we will be um, you know, drawing everything out afterwards anyhow. Um, I'm thinking if I should do like a third one somewhere. No, we'll keep it like that. So that's that. Then we have the face features. We have eyes, mouth and brows. I always like to start with, with a mouth. So... Let's go for this one, which is the largest in the set. 
and I have designed it in such a way that you can draw in your own uh, teeth in there. So the proportion of the face adjusted to your own liking. Uh, this is obviously very much my own kind of style of things, but you can feel free to move things up or down uh, as you find it more kind of suitable. Here are the eyes. The reason I start with the lips is always because I want to give myself a good foundation or where to start from and I always tend to press things to the second half of the face. So you can see the eyes are fairly low in the face. Um, might not be for everyone, so you do you. I will then go for these eyebrows. Like so. And that's our face done. So then you can just draw in the hair and pretty much that is it. If you wanted to um, put some like tattoos on her, you can use that heart if you were wondering what that is for. And these are individual lashes and here is a set of full lashes. So if you wanted to create lashes, you could do that. Then of course you'd need more space in the face for that. So you could stamp the eyes a bit higher up and give her either bottom lash lashes or top lashes or whichever way you want to create it. Or you can even do both top and um, bottom, which also looks quite interesting. So that is our face. Um, the next part would be really lining it out with a um, waterproof ink. I'm going to use my carbon ink pan by Platinum. Okay, so this is the drawing out part. Now with the teeth, um, I'm trying to think of the thinnest line that I can possibly achieve, but it probably would be still, maybe I'll do, maybe I could do a pencil. Um, let's see. That's it, so I'll just do a really thin line there. And, also the chalker. I'll just keep one today. Um, here I'm going to suggest a hat, like a head scarf. And I'm thinking, I've never tried using Dalaroni FW acrylic ink on this paper because it's quite thin. So I don't know what the outcome will be. Um, so let's try this. I'm going to just 
a tiny bit onto straight onto the paper. You don't really need much of it. And then with a brush, just going to move it out a bit. This is Payne's Grey and you'll notice it kind of looks pitch black because it's so strong but once you start adding water you need to work quite quick with it because as acrylic ink on certain papers it can dry faster and give you a hard edge which you probably don't want. So you can see I'm now getting a lighter area here which is quite nice and it seems to work okay hasn't bled through yet so that's good and then we are going to focus on the building of the dress so the dress I'm going to use these flowers here so remember you don't have to use the entire stamp. You can just use parts of it. So parts being, there's three elements of this flower and you can use one of each separately. So for instance, if we're going to just ink up this flower here without the green bits, the leaves and things, just the flower itself and just stamp it. So remember, this is going to be like our um, dress type of a thing. like that and I can also add this little bud here it's not a bud it's, it's a flower that hasn't opened yet make sure the other one is nice and clean so I'm just adding it here and I think I want some beautiful kind of shape to the dress. So I'm going to add the same flower up here. We're just rotating it to face that way this time. And then I think I might stamp this little butt here, the baby butt. And this time I'm going to ink it up with the leaves and have it like that. That looks quite nice in here. So I'm going to repeat this flower stamp here as well. So something like that. So we're building kind of like a nice shape here and it's working quite beautifully. So I think I will leave it at that. It looks like a nice arrangement. And actually I didn't use any others and that's absolutely fine. If you love what you have, you can leave it at that. You don't need to force yourself to use more than one stamp. If you have a lot of stamps, you can just, you know, concentrate on one and use it in such a way that it will look completely deconstructed. So when you look at the stamp here, it looks nothing like this beautiful arrangement. So you could uh, deconstruct it in anything that you wanted in terms of the shape of the flower um, and have fun with it really. 
it would still be this stamp set but different in a different direction okay so here all I have to do now is to draw out the lines and kind of make sure if something is overlapping uh, that I don't do double lines and that will be ready for the watercoloring stage Sort of bit of magic happens once you line out the stamped image it just pops out so much better and of course you can subdue and push back uh, certain lines that you don't want to come through so for instance um, there was an overlap here so I made sure I lined this petal out but of course you can sometimes make mistakes like here for instance I have the shoulder line coming out too big so what you could do is you could leave the neckline um, and you can just create a stamped image and then draw in the neck with the bit of shoulder matching exactly to the line where the um, flowers start so you could do that but you know it's okay it's not too too much in your face and now all I'm going to do is just, um, you know, add some color and things to it. And that's it. But the drawing part of it is quite finished. <laughs> 